Individual samples are to be combined and remixed with a shovel the minimum amount necessary to ensure uniformity. Dampen your testing equipment as required by the specification. Remove any standing water from the bottom of the measure. Determine the mass of the empty measure to be used and place it on a flat, level, firm surface. Using a scoop, place the concrete in the measure in three layers of approximately equal volume, moving the scoop around the perimeter of the measure to ensure an even distribution of the concrete. For the first layer, fill the measure to approximately one-third of its volume. Rod the layer 25 times uniformly over the cross-section with the rounded end of the rod. Rod the layer throughout its depth using care not to damage the bottom of the measure. Tap the sides of the measure 10 to 15 times with the mallet to close any voids left by the tamping rod and to release any large bubbles. For the second layer, fill the measure to approximately two-thirds of its volume. Rod the layer 25 times uniformly over the cross-section with the rounded end of the rod. Rod through the layer and into the layer below approximately one inch. Tap the sides of the measure 10 to 15 times with the mallet to close any voids left by the tamping rod and to release any large bubbles of air. For the third layer, add material so as to avoid overfilling. Rod the layer 25 times uniformly over the cross section with the rounded end of the rod. Rod through the layer and into the layer below approximately one inch. Tap the sides of the measure 10 to 15 times with the mallet to close any voids left by the tamping rod and to release any large bubbles of air. After consolidating the third layer, an approximate eighth inch of excess concrete above the top of the measure is considered optimal. Representative material can be added or removed as needed prior to strike off. Strike off the top surface of the concrete and finish it smoothly with the flat strike off plate, leaving the measure just level full. Press the strike-off plate on the top surface of the measure to cover two-thirds of the surface. Withdraw the plate with a sawing motion to finish only the area originally covered. Place the plate on top of the measure to cover the original two-thirds of the surface. Advance it with a vertical pressure and a sawing motion to cover the whole surface of the measure. Continue to advance the plate until it slides completely off the measure. Incline the plate and perform several strokes with the edge of the plate to produce a smooth finish. Completely clean the exterior of the measure. and determine the mass of the measure filled with concrete.
report the volume of the measure to the nearest 0 0.001 cubic foot. Report the density of the concrete to the nearest tenth of a pound per cubic foot.